two of the following videos are true while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Let's begin. First up, take a battery and attach strong magnets to the bottom. Then bend some copper wire into a shape like this and gently place it on top. You'll start to notice it spin around. This works because current flows from the positive to negative terminal of the battery. As current flows through the copper wire, a magnetic field is created around the wire. This magnetic field is then opposed by the magnetic field of the neodymium magnets at the bottom, which creates the motion. Did you know you can actually stack three dice on top of each other like this? The second one's pretty easy to get, but the third one takes a bit more practice. Once you get it down though, it's pretty easy to replicate, no glue necessary. Plastic pen caps are able to hold charge very well. Simply rub the cap to the pen body for a little while, and when you release the cap, it will be attracted back to the pen. You've now seen all three videos, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. Alright, time for the reveal. Although this one seemed fake, it's actually real and so is stacking the dice. That means this one's fake. I actually pinched my fingers which sends the cap flying and I did it a few times until it landed properly. Hopefully you got that one right, but if not, it's time for round two. Metal paper clips are more dense than water, so they'll sink. But if you're very careful, you can place them on the surface and let surface tension hold them up. If you take a sharpie and rub it back and forth on top of a can like this, applying a decent amount of pressure, the tear strip of the can will be weakened enough that the internal pressure will break the seal. Have you ever wondered why I means on and O means off on some electrical switches? Well, turns out there's a reason, and it's all because of Italian physicist Alessandro Volta, who standardized the electric switch. He designated the letter I for the Italian word ingeno, meaning active, and the letter O for the Italian word ozioso, meaning inactive. You've now seen all three videos, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. Although Alessandro Volta is a real and important person in the history of electricity, the switch is actually labeled 1 and 0 based on the binary system, in an attempt to make it universal. I used inspect element to change what the caption said on this Wikipedia page. This is actually a picture of Volta showing his invention of a battery to Napoleon. Next up, it's time for round three. You can actually use a lemon to charge your phone like this. A single lemon has enough electrolytes to charge most phones about 5%. Heat causes objects to expand in a process called thermal expansion. Due to this phenomenon, the Eiffel Tower increases in height by around 6 inches or 15 centimeters in the summer compared to winter. Grab some bananas as weight and hang them on some copper wire. Then grab an ice cube and let the copper wire rest on the ice. Ice melts under pressure and the weight of the bananas allows you to slice the ice cube in half. It takes a bit of time so I sped it up here, but once the copper wire makes it to the bottom, it cleanly snaps through. You've now seen all three videos, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. If you thought this video was fake, well then you'd be correct. Although lemon juice can be the electrolyte in a simple battery, which I'll do in an upcoming video, this is not how it works. I instead screen recorded my phone being charged and played that video before starting. Thanks for watching to the end, subscribe for more.